Hi guys, it's Chantal from Red Page Cafe. I am, I've decided to possibly, we'll see how this goes, um, to do like a craft with me um, with uh, the file folder journals that I've been creating. If you follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, you will have seen um, some sneak peeks of them. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So I figured I would craft along with you and I started this and uh, I guess I didn't start record <laughs> when I first started it. So this is my file folder. So it came from this, you know, the regular file folders and I cut it down. Um, I believe it's, oops, sorry. Maybe the right way we work better. Eight and a eight and on the half and an 8.20 8.25 inches oh my goodness I can't talk and then this side is eight and eight and a half inches so the little grooves I just keep I it doesn't bother me I mean you could use and whatever like the little scrap that's left I keep oops it goes this way I keep this part for making tags and stuff We'll see how long this takes and if I can even do this because my daughter's still sleeping and I'm kind of surprised. But I'm guessing she's gonna wake up pretty much as soon as I start this. But we're gonna go ahead and do it anyways. So I fold it in half like this. Okay, and I some... And then for the front cover, I use this stamp. Um, if, if I can figure out like what, what it's called I found it on Amazon it's just a script stamp I just looked up script stamp and I found this one and I really like this type of script right here this stuff so I ink and I use them as like background um, here's one of the other ones kind of like this here's one of them that I have created so I figured I'd bring you along and we can do like a little craft with me, if that's all right. <laughs> I'm, we're gonna see how it goes. Oh, this is not even straight, look at that. So we're gonna go. Sorry if my fingers are all inked up. Um, I was inking earlier and then I thought, well, if I'm doing it anyways, I may as well turn it on. I don't really have any technique. I really just like really, I really like the script. <laughs> so, and this stuff that I put on my table is really easy to wipe down, so I'm not too concerned about it. I should have went this way though. So I just, I literally just use, I do not like the, the this line on the edge, so I pull this corner up like that, and then I'll just, just like that, right? And I, I literally, and then I just ink a little bit and I, it's, it's there's no really any science to it. I just kind of put where I feel like, and because this is gonna be the front cover, I'm not too concerned about the middle because I will probably cover most of it. And then I'll probably put some stamping. Um, possibly all my pictures too of the script so it kind of blends together and then I have these two little snowflake stamps so I'm just randomly putting those oops <laughs> I'm not too too concerned if they're not perfect I just because like this guy will probably get hidden anyways I just want a little variety a little interest hope you guys are all doing well um, I'm not sure how we're still it's pretty cold still here in Alberta Canada um, and then I ink the edges just like that so I just I'm just wishing for some spring it is March 1st come on come on mother nature it's March 1st <laughs> yeah right oh my goodness my fingers are so dirty this is kind of how I ink um, no real reason why I just I just kind of do it that way and I tend to get ink 
all over the inside of my hands right in here. So I'm trying very, trying really hard to uh, be in frame and to not get ink. I tend to hold it like this too, like when I'm not using it. I think maybe that's what it is. I'm not sure. So hopefully spring is coming. I'd like it to come sooner than later. So now I have some scraps over here of just the stuff I want to use. So I always have music paper, which this has no music paper on. I love music paper on my journal. So this guy is, is it's not an old music paper. It's not vintage. It's just an, um, like 80s, I think, 1980s. And I just like, I usually pick out books, and then I cheat out of them, but I use the ones that have a lot of little music. Like, I love this. So that's how I pick them out, and then I, I cheat out of them. I keep all the scraps. I have, you know, probably see me going to this side quite a bit because I have a whole, like, basket full of scraps. So I look for my, usually use music paper, and I've got this. Oh, I got a little strip here I could use. This is kind of how I collage. I don't have a ton of stuff usually. Um, like I got this little bit from uh, Artie Maze's kit, um, which is, oh my goodness, Winter Wonderland, I think. <gasps> I can't even remember what her kit is called. That's awful. So, anyways, I'll link it. I'll link Artie Maze's stuff all over her shop and everything in, in below because these journals are part of a uh, um, guest DT project that I do. I sometimes um, do DT projects for Artie Mays. Um, it's kind of part-time so <laughs> and then with the moving I'm sorry Andrea I haven't done one in a while. So but anyways this kit I've had it since probably November and I've been wanting to. So I literally just do that. Nothing fancy. And I want, sometimes I'll put it on the side, sometimes I put it on the side. Um, I really want, I kind of tend to go grungy, just the way that I do it. Um, I could just leave it plain, but I usually ink the edges. That's how I like it. But you can make it whichever way you want if you're crafting along and trying this out. Um, and then I've got this and I've got a couple of her journals so I'm kind of looking uh, see I've got all these over here there's a little birdie one here these are little birds too and I put a little bird I love this picture a winter's tail is what it's called so <laughs> that's what it's called sorry about that um the rabbit see I how I stamped on top so it kind of works together that way and after I've glued everything everything down, I usually, see I need more glue on the edge of this guy, I usually look around it and see if I want more stamping. Um, so yeah, I just, that's kind of how I go about. So those are a couple of them. Um, I think I want, did I do a, yeah I did one scroll away. I think. I like this little fox, I think. I'm thinking I'm going to use this one. I have one that's already inked. Oh, right here. I accidentally printed them a couple times. Um, and I have this beautiful deer too that I could use. But I still have a couple more to do, so I figured that if I just did one on camera for you guys, so you can kind of see my process, I don't have a specific way. I just kind of, I just, I try to keep it simple. I try not to overthink it. I try to just play. Well, that's my my thing this year. So I'm just gonna ink the edge of this um, music paper. Um, and then I have all my papers uh, like sorted through to for my signatures. And I'm just gonna make one signature in these. Just a simple, it's very, very simple. These ones are very simple journals. And then I'll have, I've been kind of doing these series and then doing 
one week where I build a big journal. So I have one started, but for my next project for Tracy Fox. So that'll be coming soon. And I'm also working on a couple journals that for friends that I kind of promised. <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't um, do custom work, but these friends are a little different. So I'm going to maybe finish those up too. That's my next goal. This one, I was hoping to have it in my shop by today, but it might be a little bit later. It might be the end of the weekend because I have a very a very busy weekend because it's my son's birthday so we have bowling tomorrow and we have um what else do we have going on and i can't find my smaller burlap so i've got this big roll of burlap so i'm just going to cut a piece how long do i need and then i'll just i don't care for the edges here but i'll just trim those down and then I'll cut them smaller to what I need. So I need about that length, give or take, right? Anyways, so we're going to have a uh, bowling party for him, my oldest. So tomorrow is kind of gonna be that, all about that. So then we got some plans tonight with cousins. So we'll do that. That should be fun. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty, I'm going to have a pretty busy weekend. So I might be just, and then my internet's been so slow lately. So hopefully that's going to get resolved sooner than later. So downloading videos is, is quite the chore when, um, <laughs> when you hear internet is already slow. And then if we use more than one so I'm hoping that I can download this video before I have the journals in my shop. You see how I get quiet? <laughs> I'm focusing on my cutting. So this guy, I'm just gonna put it to the side because I'll use it probably. Um, and I'm just gonna pull some of these little guys off to make it a little more rustic, I guess. I don't know if I need that long though. So we go this way. Should we put it on this side? And then put the music. I just, I love music paper in almost all my journals. You'll see that it quite a bit. And then maybe the middle. This is like a little tracing paper with snowflakes that I found at Christmas time. And I just thought they were so cute. So I figured since this is a winter's tale, <laughs> um, I would use like wintry kind of don't know if I like that. Hmm. Maybe this guy we should just go this way instead. But this is kind of my process. I just, I literally just put stuff down and then I look at it and I de decide if, if that's what I like or if I need something else. And at this, at this point right now, I feel like I need something else. So, oh, sorry. This is just brown paper bag I think there's layers missing here and even if it's like not perfect I just want it kind of in the background anyways I know what I'm doing wrong here and then maybe oh my gosh maybe like no I do not like the way that's sitting at all yeah that's a little bit better and then I just try to grunge it up a little bit more. Let's see if that'll work. Maybe this guy's just too far um, to one side. Oh, it's upside down. The numbers are upside down. <laughs> so this is kind of my process. I just, I just keep layering and I don't stick really anything down. But I try not to overthink. Like the big thing is not to have too much stuff when you're layering and you're collaging. Because if you have too much stuff in front, I just feel like this guy's almost, like this part is almost too much. I feel like I should maybe 
trim it down. I think that might be what I'm going to do now. I'm not the most straight cutter. So I have this little trimmer that works awesome. So I'm thinking that I want to take, oh my, out of frame probably, sorry. I have this little cutter, it's from uh, Creative Memories, I believe it's called. It's Scrapbooking Company. I've had this thing for like ever, so. I'm just going like this, and this guy I won't. I'm not gonna throw it out, I will use this some way, somehow. So, now I'm just gonna ink the edge of that guy. I think my big problem I um, with this is that I'm not sewing any of the pictures, so it's really weird for me, really weird for me for, for to not be sewing like the covers. I'm trying to keep these super simple. See, I think that's way better, but there's still I feel like they're still missing something. So maybe some blue. I'm so funny. I just cut that off, and I'm like thinking of putting it back. Um, what shall we put? I have so much stuff that probably shouldn't even be here, but I have stuff everywhere, so sorry if, uh, um, this is just, um, tea dyed paper, leftovers, so you might be thinking, well, the back is already white or beige, right? I'm sure you want tea, to, tea dyed paper. But did you see how I chose the darker side? And I don't necessarily need all, like that's another thing too with collage. If you know you're gonna like use it like back here maybe somewhere, um, you don't necessarily have to put the whole strip. Like you can just literally choose the pieces you like the most. Just so, like for example, I could just go like this, right? And it looks like not enough, but it's okay because we're gonna ink the edge of that guy. And another thing that's super nice about, like, if it feels like it's empty, um, stamping script helps. I find with like the little empty spots. I think because this guy is like almost is pretty wide. I feel like um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do with it. If that makes any sense at all. I'm gonna ink the edge. I want about. Wait, I might have another piece over here. Oh, this guy's not long enough. I don't think. This is kind of like I. There's no magical process to this. I just kind of. I just kind of just play and I I'm inking the edge of this these guys as well that's how I got my how my fingers get the beautiful colors on them beautiful brown colors and then this guy even this guy like I feel like he's just too boring so I also go this way to get the creases and to darken my papers Yes, I know I'm getting ink everywhere, but that's okay. I've got baby wipes somewhere. <laughs> I'll clean that off after. No problem. I'm a very, um, probably messier crafter than some people, but I'm okay with that. That's just my process. And I usually try to clean up my space at least, like, after each project. But when I'm, like, in one, working with the same kind of material and the same kind of project, I don't clean off my table that much. And that's just the way I work. I mean, some people just drive some nuts probably. Probably would drive some, like, I'm surprised my hubby's okay with the whole thing. He's pretty chill. It makes me happy, I guess. He's okay with it. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, that's mom's office. Just leave her alone. That's her, that's her, that's my space. I have five kiddos, so. For you guys that may not know so this is my corner my piece my little see how the little script makes it like cute 
Okay, so I'm okay with that. I like that. I don't mind that. So another thing you can do if you're worried about, because I'm still going to put like snowflakes somewhere because I'm using these wooden pieces, the little snowflakes, because I have them and I figured why not use them, right? Yes, they add a little bit of bulk, but I don't mind that. Hopefully you guys don't either. So I know I'm going to put one thing you could do if you're worried about like not putting them back in the same spot or whatever, you can always take a picture of your cover and if you're happy with that. So let's see where I'm at with time. So I, I literally just pull stuff off and then stick it one piece at a time. That's how I do it. We're still doing okay. I'm like at the top of the frame. See, I have all this space down here. I'm not using it. We're about 20 minutes in, so still have a little bit of time. Now, please forgive me. My uh, I am out of Fabri-Tac and it hasn't come in yet, so I'm dealing. I'm trying to deal. I should just order more, but I did order more, but it's just not in yet. Um, let's clean the end. Sorry. Just cleaning the end of my bottle. There's still a little bit at the bottom, but enough for to do this anyways. <laughs> oh my goodness. If I, like, I'll go over them before they go in my shop anyways. And make sure there's enough glue on them when I sell them. But for this purpose, I'm just going to put... I think it's just like blocked in there like there's still some coming out but just I just need some air I just need enough but I don't want it to be too like gooby and thick so well, it's coming out it's not as fast as I'd like it to I want it when it actually does come out I'm, I don't need it you know so that's kind of how I do it. I just put one piece at a time. If I want to trim this guy, I can after, later. I may trim the edge of this guy. I'm not sure yet. So this end, I might, might glue it a little bit more. But I try not to overthink it. I just, if I like it, I just start gluing. Because if I don't, then you could be, you could be taking like hours of your day trying to figure out if you like that or not. So my my theory, <laughs> my my yearly commitment or whatever, I don't even know if that's what you would call it, but my new thing this year is to not overthink, just do. I know what I'm doing, I enjoy what I'm doing, so I need to stop overthinking everything and just create. And uh, so far it's been good. So. I mean, we all have our moments where you're like, oh, things are working. It's just not hitting that spot. And, but that's, I think that's why I have so many more. I don't have only one project going all the time because I feel like sometimes I just need a break. And, but all week this week, I've been craving the office. I've been wanting to be in here, but you know, life happens sometimes and you got to do those things that... <laughs> Some of those things that you don't always want to do. And your mom. And, uh, yeah. The house is, was calling my name, so it needed a good time. And then it finally started, was warm there for one or two days, so I took advantage of that. Because our dogs come in and out of the house all the time. But, because we live on an acreage, they get a little dirtier, easier, those darn puppies. And they want to be with us, so... At the end of the day, they're usually in the house with us. But it's been so cold that they've been literally running out and coming back in. But because it's warmed up finally, I was able to clean my floors. Yay! Because, um, well, I still do it once a week, but it needed a good cleaning due to the paw prints and the children prints and all the prints. <laughs> So, 
and that's what I was doing the last couple days is just catching up on house stuff just house duties and laundry and all the fun stuff that we need to do I guess and then my son's birthday so I wanted to do a couple things for him there just everything adds up real quick right I'd rather be in here all day oh, this is like this way I'm just gonna put it I think somewhere over here and I want to see some of the music paper on this side so that's why I'm bringing them to the edge almost so it's changed a little bit right right here there's a little bit more room but I'm okay with that we are committing to it and that's that that's final <laughs> and these are the snowflakes I was talking about that I see it's just I don't know it just feels like it finishes it and I've been for some odd reason putting it like on this corner and then this corner kind of that's been the thing I like it like that actually so we'll commit let's commit <laughs> and then I'll probably stamp a little bit of of script just like that and may have to do a second part to this because I hear my daughter waking up from her nap so this might have to be um, part one of two so I will attach some wooden snowflakes and then we'll have the cover finished and then I can show you guys how I do the signatures so hopefully that's okay with you guys and uh, see a little script just finishes the little those little those little spots and then I'm thinking that I'm going to put one of these here and then I just want the edge see like that it's like kind of it's really all about preference it's completely up to you. You don't you don't have to do that. I don't know. I'm just maybe it's a little too much, but I will just do the edge of that. There you go. Good enough. So, and then I'll put glue on these wooden bits. Have another snowflake. Can you hear her? I don't know if you guys can hear her in the background. She's just going, ma. She had a big snooze today. So I'll put this guy there. And, and we will call it a day for today. And this guy so in the way it'll be good because it'll let it dry and then I can check it a little bit more to see if there's any spots that need a little bit more glue because it might be the case as I get goobered up with more glue and right here I'm thinking that's where I might need a little bit more and then I think I'm going to possibly trim that edge so, hope you guys enjoyed the little craft along with me. And uh, let me know what you think. If there is anything else you guys want to see, I will show you guys how I do the inside on the next one. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Bye.